which demonstrations in Mexico increased and became violent this weekend as protesters accused the Mexican government of reacting slowly to the disappearance and apparent murders of 43 students who attended a rural teacher's college. Here's Carter Evans. Masked protesters tried to break into the National Palace in Mexico City Saturday night and threw Molotov cocktails as riot police moved in. They're calling for the resignation of President Enrique Peña Nieto after it took the federal government six weeks to charge three gang members with murdering 43 students and incinerating their bodies in a landfill with a fire that burned for 14 hours. The students had traveled to the city of Iguala in late September to collect donations and reportedly had commandeered public buses. Federal authorities say the city's mayor ordered local police to attack the students out of fear they might disrupt a public event for his wife. Six people were killed, and the 43 remaining students were handed over to a Mexican drug gang, allegedly connected with the mayor. Andrew Seeley is an expert on Mexico with the Woodrow Wilson Institute in Washington, D.C. People are very frustrated by, by the fact that, that a local mayor can be in cahoots with organized crime and kill 43 people. 72 people have been arrested so far, including that mayor, his wife, and dozens of police officers. But the massacre has undermined the Mexican president's assurances that drug violence in his country is under control. <laughs> Protesters were enraged Friday after a side comment from Mexico's attorney general, Jesus Maria Caram, at the end of a news conference announcing the case had been solved. Barely audible, he said. Ya me canse. I'm tired. For them, it's about closing the case, says protester Javier Batista. We do not agree with the Mexican state failing to take responsibility for what has happened. Yame Kanse has now become a rallying cry, trending on Twitter and social media, a symbol of frustration with the Mexican government in a country where the people themselves are tired of corruption and violence. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.